imagine a place so remote that it has barely been touched by humans. Such a place exists. It is the Ross Sea, a majestic domain in the vast expanse of the Southern Ocean, a great wilderness. There are just four months left in which to first strengthen and then secure consensus support for the protection of these iconic areas. Decisions that would really make history by creating the largest marine parks in the world for some of the truly last wild places on Earth. 116 days to ensure the integrity of these systems and their future for all humankind. Now, a major agreement on ocean conservation today. Dozens of nations created the world's largest marine reserve at the bottom of the globe. William Brangham has the story. 24 countries in the European Union agreed today to set aside 600,000 square miles of ocean. The, the protection will take effect starting December 2017 and will continue for 35 years. Commercially, the species that is caught there is uh, called Antarctic toothfish. It's known in the United States as Chilean sea bass. So when we think of these preserves normally being done, we think of them being done by individual nations within their own ter territorial waters. But this one is quite different. It is. It's because the Antarctic um, and the Southern Ocean around it is governed collectively by a group of countries under the Antarctic Treaty System. And the system actually came into being at the height of the Cold War, where countries set aside their differences and agreed to govern the Antarctic as a place for peace in science. That governance is now extending into the ocean um, and uh, about five years ago the countries agreed to begin to work together to establish marine reserves and protected areas and the Ross Sea is the first big one that they've managed to agree to. Chilean sea bass and their their, 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 their existence is more important in yours than the entire planet, especially women and children in Ukraine or in Russia or in the U.S. They taste they're, good. They're willing to point missiles at each other wherever there's populated areas, but where there's no population, they can agree on sea bass. A 35-year ban over some fish. 35-year ban where you can't go in unless you have an exceptional uh, reason for research. Okay. Now we're still in the running because our expedition is exceptional research. Very exceptional research. And we might have a beer here, joke around here, me and Jake. We're trying to communicate this to the next. Unbelievable. So, so they they rammed it through. They've been nego negotiating this for the last three years. Well, ever since Flat Earth started taking off, they gotta have a cover. They have a bunch of Navy ships patrolling the Antarctic, and this is what they came up with. Chilean sea bass. This is Chilean sea bass. They're good tasting, and, I guess. And they got people so far to the green left with their globe. Okay, all defense, all globe defenses on on on, on alert. No, oh. and it's like, could you imagine sail, just, sailing your vessel in the Antarctica and a battleship rolling up alongside of you and going, "You are entering Chilean sea bass waters. You need to exit Chilean sea bass waters, or we will sink your vessel. Fire. We will open fire. You are endangering the Chilean sea, sea bass. bass. <laughs> Please remove your vessel from these waters. We like, will open fire fuck, man. in five minutes. This is Chilean sea bass sanctuary. They basically, yeah, that's what it is. It's a sanctuary, and that sanctuary happens to be my entry to measure it. So. This will be ridiculed as exceptional research, measuring Antarctica from six different entry points. Chilean sea bass. Really? But you're willing to um, exterminate the entire Ukrainian people with nuclear warheads. Catch the, they're in the middle. If missiles are leaving Poland and missiles are leaving uh, Moscow, well, guess who's in the middle of all that? Those poor Ukrainian women, children, and men. 
boys. Bro, we're on the brink of World War Three. On the fucking brink of World War Three. But you know what we can agree we need on? These fish. These you know what we can agree on? Chilean sea bass. You know, you know, you know, like 